Hello, and welcome to Stream Zero of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I say Stream Zero because I'm not actually streaming. This is a recording, and uh, I'm not going to start the game today. I'm just going to set it up. So if me going through menus and seeing all the cool features doesn't sound like your kind of thing, then you can feel free to skip ahead to uh, the first actual stream where we will jump right into the game. That is not today, though. I have confirmed this works, and that's about all that I've done. I have never played this, I have not seen the vast majority of any of these fusions, so I am pretty much blind for this, but I've wanted to do it for quite a while. Get rid of this loser. Test. Alright, uh, also, so I do know this takes place in Kanto. I know it's, as far as I'm aware, it's basically a Gen 1 kind of playthrough. I am going to do randomized because I want to see as many of the fused Pokemon as possible. And that's also why I'm doing this separate video, because I don't want to, uh, I don't necessarily want to spend like half an hour at the start of the first stream just setting everything up. I don't know how long it'll take, so uh, this way I can do it at a more relaxed pace. And then I'll just uh, I'll just put this video out whenever uh, whenever I finally do the first stream of it. Uh, photo ID. Can we? Do we have different sprites available, or is it just the? Is it just the, the red and leaf that we have? Okay, we, we can be a reasonable range of Pokemon protagonists. I think about the oldest were Gen 5. I think they're generally like 15, 16. Okay. I can change the hair color. But that's... I guess about the limit. I'm assuming. Let me let me click on this. No, oh, that didn't do anything. All right. Uh, Pokemon. Yes, I do want to randomize Pokemon. Uh, fuse everything and starters, include only Pokemon with a custom sprite. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I know that not every fusion has a custom sprite. Some of them, many of them, are still, like, automatically generated by that old, like, Pokemon fusion site. I'm gonna do area so I have a whole array of different Pokemon per, uh... Do I want to randomize legendaries? That could be game-breaking, but it could also be fun just to have them and be able to fuse them with stuff. I'm gonna have legendaries on. Maybe we'll do a dice roll. Maybe we'll get lucky. Include only Pokemon with a custom sprite. I guess I'll leave that off because... Like, not every fusion that a Pokemon has is going to have a custom sprite. So if, like, Slowpoke has 50 customs and 50 not customs, am I not gonna encounter Slowpoke? I don't know what that means. Uh, starters. Always be... F yeah. First stage Pokemon. That sounds like a good idea. Randomized static Pokemon. Mm, sure. Gift Pokemon. Yep. Include fused... Mm. Now that's a question. Do I want to encounter fusions in the wild, or do I want to just be able to fuse my own Pokemon as I find them? I think I'm leaning towards the latter, because that's more in the spirit of the game. Uh, NPC trainers. Sure. I'll have them only use Pokemon that have custom sprites. Uh, gym trainers will only use those. Shuffle the gym types. Uh... No, I don't want them to randomize each battle, but I will... Let's shuffle the gym types. Let let's see what, uh, what types we get from new gyms. I'm not going to randomize items. We, we don't need to do that. Uh, randomness degree. 
Pokemon get shuffled according to their base stats. Lower the degree, the more they will be replaced by other Pokemon with around the same base stats. Okay. Uh... I do like just a wide array. I think I'm gonna go moderate. I'm gonna go for the middle setting. Oh, that, that was just starters. No? Wild Pokemon. Now here's another question I have. I I know there's an item that you have to use to uh, to fuse Pokemon. It's like a, a fusion something or other. Also, the game is currently in a state where like the servers are down, so the, the Discord is doing a whole thing where they made an offline version of the game, and that's what I'm currently on. Uh, I would like to have an infinite number of those fusion items, just so that I can fuse and unfuse as much as I want to. But I don't know how I would do that. Game's difficulty. Oh, there's difficulty settings. Uh, easy gives us, uh, experience like modern games. And then hard gives us better tra Can I have both? I, I, I would kind of like like difficult trainers and also the ability to like have a lot of e XP. Well, given the choice between the two, I'm going to pick easy because I want to uh, I want the freedom to be able to cha mix and match my party at any time, which you kind of need that like abundant EXP to be able to do. Now we'll watch the intro. Uh, sure. Well, no. I saved manually Pokemon game, and I'm good about that. Silphco is proud to announce the new product that will revolutionize Pokemon battling. DNA Splicers. These are the things that, uh... These are the things that the, the Gen 5 legendaries use. I hope the audio is not too loud. It sounds like it may have reset my game volume to 100 instead of 50. So, sorry about that. Makes it easier to fuse Pokemon together than ever before. Implying that it was possible before this invention. Fused Pokemon can learn moves from both halves, which gives them an edge over regular Pokemon. I wonder how the typing is calculated. Okay, well I can purchase them at Pokemart, so I'm never gonna be, like, too starved, I guess? This depends on how expensive they are. I saw a Rattata Pidgey there. Is my room pink just because I'm a girl? Is that how that what, that plays out? Uh, options. Yeah, sorry, that was probably very loud for a little while. Uh, difficulty... Oh, I can change, change it any time. That's nice. Uh, speed up. Speed up speed. There's a speed up button? Alright. Uh, download sprites off because that ruins this version of the game. Uh, can this be, like, trainer by trainer? I don't know. I'd, I'd kind of like all three to happen now and again. Battle effects, battle style. Do I want to do switch? I'll start on set. I'll, I'll start being a man. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use switch mode unless, like, it really proves to be a problem. Yeah, frames, whatever. Text center keyboard. Fusion icons. Uh, use the same party icon. Now, well, we'll have, like, custom fusion icons. Uh, well, I already have this set up for streaming, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with the screen size. Ooh, quick serve. Prevents leveling among, the, above the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, disable some options that aren't supported when playing on mobile? 
Okay. I guess there's a mobile version of this. It's nice that it, it lets you choose, like, specify what version you're playing on. I'm gonna get rid of Test. Yeah, get rid of that loser. All right, well, that was uh, that was shorter than I anticipated it being. It only took about ten minutes. I guess I could have done this at the start of the first stream. But, uh... I didn't. I did it now. If you chose to watch this, hey, cool. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you at the start of the first actual stream of this game. Where I'm gonna hop right in right in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing the game. So uh see you then. <laughs>